Hi folks, what's going on? Good afternoon from Dhaka, Bangladesh. 3 p.m. here in Dhaka right now, hot and humid day. So I'll be reviewing a fragrance which is basically a winter perfume, a cold weather fragrance, but I have a story with this fragrance, okay? Lately, a lot of fragrance I'm actually being blessed that I am getting them, uh, which I wanted in my journey, okay? Because they are like missing puzzles in my journey. So one day perhaps I will finish reviewing all the fragrance that I wanted, like fragrance like Coco Rico. You know, I, I wish I could find that perfume from Jean Paul Gaultier or um, what else, M7 by YSL, you get the idea. So some of these fragrances are hard to find, some of the fragrances are not available in our country. So this fragrance right here today we'll be reviewing, Black Soul Imperial by Ted Lapidus. And this is big thanks to USB who got it for me very quickly in quick time uh, from, I think from UK most probably. So this fragrance I had, uh, what do you call, um, good memories of it, okay? Because uh, when my journey started, let me tell you the story, then we'll discuss this fragrance, okay? Uh, my journey started in 2014-15-ish, collecting fragrances. I was a small time collector. I did not have so much cash to spend on fragrances uh, because I was a student. Uh, I think my, no, uh, yeah, around 2014 I was still in uh, the student phase like PhD and all that. But then I stopped and I started my uh, business, restaurant business in KL, Kuala Lumpur. Uh, that time I found interest because I always loved fragrances but I did not feel like I was a frag head or collector, I don't have to be. I used to have like 10, 15 fragrances like cheap and you know like mid uh, middle tier designers, Boss and Versace this and that. But then I started collecting and 2015, 16 I used to go to the shop called the perfume shop okay in Kuala Lumpur, uh, it's the mall okay, Sanway Putra Mall in KL next to PWTC those who are in living in Malaysia or who visited. So there's this nice shop with this nice Chinese lady and then there are three ladies always there. So this Chinese lady, a little bit uh, elderly, uh, she was the, I think the senior uh, employee there or perhaps the manager. So I used to buy perfumes from her because they used to offer always like 10, 15, 20% all year round and different fragrances, sometimes they have clearance sale. So I perhaps believed a little bit more because fragrance in Malaysia very expensive. So usually you pay retail, even after discount, it's very high compared to Bangladesh. So I used to go buy a lot of fragrance from her, CK Reveal, I remember off the top of my head, 1 million Invictus, I bought everything from her shop. And when I used to go to a shop, they used to have these counters where they have a little bit more affordable fragrance like Mobusan or Jacques Bogart or This House by Ted Lapidus. And I always seen this perfume and I always felt like this fragrance I wanted to buy but for some reason I felt like, you know, like something didn't impress me or something is a bit too mature which this is and i never ended up buying it i left malaysia and i regretted not buying it that's the story basically uh, if i talk too much uh, and if you find it annoying you can skip my video i do not mind but uh, my channel i like to do share stories okay because fragrances everything has a story uh, so finally i have it and i have good memories of it i smelled it like before today i smelled it like some five six years back so it's a long time but memories remain so today i have it finally so you see so apart from this one uh, i did review lapidus purum from this house i want to review so much more and i did review a little bit more i did uh, lapidus purum i did this bottle and this is called ten lapidus purum black extreme and then oh shoot then uh, i did the gold edition you see this one these ones you can check on youtube so i want to try lapidus sport as well okay so here you go first thing the presentation they have black soul uh, imperial they have black soul and white soul i know of three and i'm so happy to see on youtube there are a lot of reviews on this from awesome reviewers okay uh lex ellis is one of my favorite reviewers he did this and i love his review this is a tin container and there's a plastic wrapping outside which i did not take it off there's a story with it i'll tell you and this says Ted Lapidus, very nice presentation for what you pay. These are like 20 pounds, okay? Inside the bottle stays there, okay? I like this presentation a lot. The bottle here is 100 ml EDP, I think. It's EDP concentration, or oh, EDT, sorry. But uh, concentration is more like EDP. Uh, some people may find this bottle like a little bit like the cigar bottles, like cigar perfume, okay? And a bit simplistic. I agree, like if you see some more of my more uh, premium bottles compared to those this one perhaps do not look as premium, but I feel the black and the gold looks awesome, okay? Uh, and it looks very upscale, sort of gives that vibe of oud gonna be in there because of black and gold, but it doesn't have oud. Uh, when I actually got this perfume, it was already open. Like I bought it from USB and he told me that frankly that 
our airport. You know, many of you want to send me perfume samples, but sadly our customs in Bangladesh, they are very strict and they confis confiscate. Yes, they sometimes do not let perfumes go through. Sometimes they open the spray. They, you know, steal, honestly speaking, some sprays from the bottle, which is horrible, you know, because if you don't think it's legal, then uh, do not let it pass. If you think it's legal, why would you use it? Sometimes they, you know, do funny things like some of the fragrance go missing. So. Uh, never mind that so uh, this fragrance came to me as open but thankfully the bottle was full and uh, seller told me brother if juice is missing I am willing to take that um, damage cost I will charge you less I did not say uh, I, I, did not, I said no you don't have to right so coming back to the smell uh, this fragrance that cap nice sprayer let me show you good sprayer okay has good sprayer clicks onto place but I wouldn't pick it up by the cap uh, this fragrance when I smelled it I smelled another fragrance at the same time, uh, not uh, like the same shop, but same time. That was one of the Ferrari fragrances, I think. Uh, that one also was dark, similar to Men in Black. It was not Vetiver, um, I forgot the name, something essence. Anyway, I remember I liked this perfume from the first spray, but the dry down came, it was a bit too mature for me or too spicy, something was in it, which was not right, okay? Uh, in a sense that if it's, it's a fragrance, I would not say it's for beginners, okay? First thing not for beginners this is fragrance for cold weathers and for mature noses and it's very potent if you do not like potent fragrances no point buying this okay and i would say ted lapidus house not for younger kids it's for more mature 20 30 plus men um, this is dark this is sweet dark spicy coffee if you do like coffee fragrances you're gonna like this and there's a hint of black leather somewhere which makes me feel like this fragrance similar to many many people say one million ish sweetness because one million also has uh, leather sweetness when I smell it it has this beautiful citrus nice sort of citrusy elements sweet not overly sweet but citrus makes it sort of balanced dark citrus coffee these are three things that comes to my mind with leather tone at the base so it definitely feels like you know not love at first sniff at times if you are not into powerhouse this is a powerhouse perfume okay and it smells way more expensive than the 20 pound mark okay uh, this one smells like if it came in another bottle, you would love that as much as many of the other uh, designer fragrance which can cost up to 60, 70, 80 dollars. This smells like that quality. So there are two sides of people. Some people say this is like utterly horrible. I cannot stomach it. Understood. Uh, other side, people are big fan of it, especially for the price tag. People are just crazy about it. Like um, you have to pay a little bit more when it comes to your country, perhaps the taxes and everything. It will be maybe become 25 pounds. That's okay. Still an affordable one, right? With 100 ml awesome presentation. So brings back memories, guys. You know, like when I used to smell it, you know, I used to go to the shop and then try out fragrances when your journey started. This fragrance is very close to my heart and it definitely brought back those memories when I smelled it once again. It smelled like Malaysia days. It smelled like Kuala Lumpur. Uh, it smelled like the perfume shop, okay? Uh, if you are into fragrances, you cannot afford very expensive perfumes and you want like a solid fragrance which smells unique. Nobody's gonna smell like you. This You could get this fragrance, okay? Lexelis, love that dude. He's like one of the best reviewers, him. And also Fragrance Matt, these two guys from UK, gem of reviewers. Um, some other reviewers also reviewed it. Check it, check it out. But I feel this perfume, it's awesome value, awesome smell and awesome longevity, this three things already make it a champ, okay? 10 out of 10 for those categories. But the sweetness, uh, it keeps the fragrance interesting. It doesn't become overly, some of the other Lapidus, they become overly animalic. And this one smells a bit more modern than Lapidus Purum, which I love. I love in winter. This one, they say is the real king, like the real Aventus, because there's a supposedly pineapple note, which is very old school, right? This one, Kuros, they smell very, very, very animalic. This one is very suited up, okay? Modern day masterpiece. Yes, masterpiece is a word, shouldn't be thrown out casually, but I will throw it, okay? Try it out. Uh, this fragrance, you need like literally two to three sprays, not more than that. You, in cold weather times, in leather jacket, you know, if you have black leather jacket, biker boys, you can go three, four sprays, it will leave an impression. Great sillage, great longevity, a great projection, okay? And the dry down will be a little bit more spicy. The spices will actually take center stage. And the coffee note, it's, some people say polo reddish, or some of the modern day, no, uh, it doesn't smell like those. But yeah, you can get those 1 million-ish Swedish vibe, a little bit, but it's not a clone of those, okay? Very nice fragrance, very nice house. I'm just so happy I have it. Try it out, Ted Lapidus. 
this is a gentlemanly perfume very high class perfume doesn't smell cheap and it has a signature uh, still that masculine vibe of lapidus house okay this fragrance for what it is it's a 10 out of 10 try it out and uh, see if you like it i'll see you soon thanks for watching bye bye